Hey, this is Dave Basulto, and today we are in Final Cut Pro version 6. We are going to take a look at uh, doing that Pleasantville. Remember the movie Pleasantville with Tobey Maguire? Uh, I had a friend ask me the other day, how do I uh, single out one color? And uh, I'm going to show you and him how. So I've got a little bit of footage here. It's probably not the best footage um, to do this because I'm going to isolate the red. But we've got versions of red here in the trees. Um, you can absolutely do tons of tweaking to get all that out. But uh, for sake of time, I'm just going to show you uh, how we're just going to take this red out. So I'm going to drop, uh, it's a long piece of footage, so I'm going to drop. I don't know why or what the deal was, why I shot this, uh, this uh, fire hydrant for so long. I don't know, maybe I was just in love with the fire hydrant. A dog in another life. Um, so I brought it down into my timeline. And there you can see it. So now we're going to go up here into effects. And I already have it open. I was cheating. Uh, but if you look into the effects area and under video filters and under um, color correction. Actually, there's another one down here. We're just going to the color correction right here. Uh, NI stands for Noise Industries, which is a different company. But for those of you that have... And, Absolutely Noise Industries has fantastic plugins and filters, so check them out at noiseindustries.com. A little plug for them. But uh, for those that just have uh, Final Cut Pro with no uh, added third-party stuff, let's go to the Color Correction tab, uh, click on three uh, Color Corrector 3-Way, and then just drag it on to your footage. And then double-click so that the footage is loaded in there. Uh, and then what I like to do is I'll click and hold the three-way color corrector and just peel it off. So I have it over here to, to uh, work with. So now first thing we need to do is, and by the way, uh, we'll do this another time, but three-way color corrector is not bad for doing general color correcting. Um, if you have no other cool tools like uh, magic bullet looks or other things, um, you can do some cool stuff with this. So. Uh, let's take a look uh, down here. It says limit effect. We're going to make that super size. And then we're going to uh, pick our color. So we're going to grab a little eyedropper right here. It says select color. And is it selected? There we go. And I'm going to look for a red that's going to show up really nicely. Um, I'm just going to go there. And now you can see down here uh, in the middle under limit effect, it shows that I've gotten, I have red chosen. One thing you're going to want to do though is to uncheck both the Luma, which stands for luminance, and the SAT, uh, Scholastic Aptitude Test, actually stands for saturation. And uh, because they're going to mess you all up, and I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. So now that we've got this all set, we're going to bring down the saturation and we are going to invert. I'm going to click this little box here. And there you have it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Actually, we have a little tweaking to do, but it will be fantastic. So as you can see, we've got everything else, all the saturation gone, black and white. Uh, as I said, the trees in the background had a little uh, maroon color to it, so it's definitely coming, poking out there. Um, what we're going to do now is go into the limit effector area and this four areas, four corner color correcting here. I'm just going to click and drag a little bit. And there you go. Look at that first pass. Um, we've still got some colors over here, so we can probably go a little bit more. And maybe a little more. I don't want to get too much. because then we start to spill out here. So you see a little red spilling there. And you can play with the uh, edges a little bit if you'd like. Uh, let's see where we're gonna be. Let's go here. Maybe back down. And we'll softening. Oh, that's right, softening's not working. Uh, that's about it. But as you can see, we've really uh, keyed out everything else. We've got our red showing. A uh, little bit of shadow there, and you can definitely keep tweaking it. But for sake of time, I just wanted to show you the basics of it, how it all works. 
Uh, you always have to invert. Now, uh, the other things I took off these uh, S saturation and luma, the reason being luma standing for luminance uh, or light. If I click on that, where the lights were shining, uh, you can see that it's, uh, it's definitely screwed things up. So I don't want luma on. And if I do the saturation, you can see I screwed up there again. So that's why you want to take those off. So there you have it. And the cool thing about uh, a three-way color corrector is it works in real time. Uh, unlike some of the other ones where you have to render out, as you can see right here in the timeline, there's no red bar there, meaning I have to render it. It's just good to go. This is really good for isolating uh, if you're doing some kind of a commercial or uh, you really want to just isolate all eyes on this person or this thing. Uh, it's fantastic for doing that. And it was played out for a while, uh, but starting to come back a little bit in some different commercials I've seen. And uh, if you have some clients uh, that just do industrials, I showed this to a client the other day that they were like, oh, that's really cool. Let's do that. <laughs> So, uh, and they think it takes a lot of time, but it doesn't really. So anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this. It's just a really quick uh, check on using the color corrector, the three-way color corrector in Final Cut Pro to create the uh, look of Pleasantville or uh, just to isolate some colors. Uh, any questions, rants, raves, please email me, david at davidbasulto.com. Have a great day.